Do we have an idea of the extent of loss to cultural heritage in northern Mali today? The information that we receive is that 11 of the 16 Muslims have been totally destroyed uh, by the Islamist groups. That's the 11 of the 16 Muslims in Timbuktu? The 11 of the 16 Muslims uh, of the World Heritage Site. What we also know is, is that uh, the old town itself it's in a very degraded state of conservation uh, simply because it has been completely abandoned. We also know that uh, the three mosques that are part of the World Heritage Site have not been uh, maintained. There is always an annual uh, maintenance of these buildings. So we are afraid that the situation could be worse. The same thing is also in Gao where we have the tomb of Askia. Um, this mosque needed also an annual maintenance and this has not been done. One of the pillars that is supporting the mosque uh, collapsed and we're not even sure that this has been completely rebuilt. What is UNESCO, what can Mali do in order to save that heritage and in order to possibly restore or reconstruct what has been lost? I think it's UNESCO's responsibility to uh, support the government of Mali uh, in uh, rehabilitating uh, this heritage and reconstructing what will need to be reconstructed, in particular the, the, the mausoleums. And, uh, but this will need a thorough assessment of the situation as soon as possible. What about the fabled libraries of the desert, the libraries in Timbuktu and the book manuscript collections? Have they, do we know how seriously damaged they were? At least thousands of manuscripts, uh, many manuscripts have been destroyed, unfortunately, by, uh, by, the, by the Islamists. And these manuscripts were in the Ahmed Baba Center. Do we have an idea of how many manuscripts were lost? Well, it, it, it's going to be difficult at this stage to know the exact amount of manuscripts that have been destroyed. But what is important is, is, is that uh, we may have lost thousands or 2,000, even 3,000 manuscripts, but we may have lost the unique manuscripts, which tells us a lot about this, uh, the importance of uh, the role that Timbuktu played in the 16th and 15th century. But it would appear that the manuscripts that were kept in the traditional fashion by families that had been safeguarding those manuscripts for so many centuries uh, actually may have survived better than the ones that benefited from more modern conservation uh, techniques and that were concentrated in public libraries. Is that correct? What is sure is that uh, many of these manuscripts uh, have probably been uh, uh, hidden somewhere or taken away from Timbuktu by families because it's their treasures. So we will also need to do a thorough assessment of the extent of the damage. But we hope that this manuscript have been kept somewhere and that we'll be able to continue digitalizing them.